Silvio and this is part 18 of my 2022 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Why such a dark intro to this 2022 series? Why such dark scenes and especially dark music? This is supposed to be a Christmas village with fun and happiness everywhere, even in Victorian time. Yes, true, but it is also true that my absolutely crazy will added some steampunk elements to it. And what is a steampunk? Many of you know it as a way of doing rallies, uh, cosplay rallies, uh, where you are wearing strange clothes, top hats, uh, 1800, uh, late 1800 century costumes, etc. True. This is the main diffusion of steampunk nowadays, but it was born as a derivation, as a, a new type of uh, subgenre, sub team of science fiction in the late 80s, 1980s, more precisely in 1987. And steampunk is many def many things among the science fiction, it has many definitions, but one of the main one of the most important is to be dystopic. But what is dystopic? What is a dystopia? A dystopia is when the reality we know, or we are supposed to know, is no more there because it has been influenced by something that caused a divergence in the timeline as we know it. <laughs> Many uh, difficult words there. Timeline as we know it. Prehistoria with dinosaurs, then Roman Empire, all the events occurred during that time, because the Middle Ages, we know exactly what happened uh, in the Middle Ages due to <laughs> history books. Then we got everything else going from there to the 17th, uh, 1700th century, French Revolution, uh, wars, etc., and each and single event. Uh, took the civilization where we know it right now. But what if that timeline, in that timeline, a particular event caused everything else from that point on to be different? That's what happened with steampunk. Steampunk uh, pushed the steam power and the born of electricity to the, to the excess fixed in the late 1800 centuries in Europe or in the US is equivalent, where everything was focused from that moment on on steam, on steam power and very little of electricity and everything else didn't appear. Uh, the develop development of uh, industrialization with miniatur miniaturization with the electronics uh, with everything else, with every and other improvements, not happened from that moment on. And for centuries, many years, everything was fixed, was there in that period of time. No more evolution, we freeze in that time. Plus, something different also in the society. Uh, Steampunk was absolutely more violent than uh, 1800th century, as we, late 1800th century as we know it. Europe, yes, we know it with uh, Victorian times in Europe, but it is also true for uh, steampunk in the US. An example, a vivid example is uh, Wild Wild West, you maybe remember that movie. That was a pure steampunk movie with a mad, crazy scientist trying to conquer all the US with uh, the help of steam power and a little of electricity. That was pure steampunk. So, two times. So, <laughs> why all these 
introduction all that this long introduction because steampunk yes you have seen but steampunk is also a little violent it is also a little brutal i know this is a christmas village but it was time i started also to add some brutal things many of you may not like that but steampunk if i want to go with steampunk and respect the steampunk i must do that this is steampunk design i know but all the figurines are happy like that no strange things happening in the street brutality was known in victorian times very it was not all that love and peace during victorian times but steampunk pushed that to the excess to the extreme with people getting uh, knives uh, weapons all along the street every time defending themselves attacking each other so forgive me but from now on i will add also such elements so it has been a long week passed with two tools sorry this one and this one graphic tablet and brushes plus paints obviously because i had to do remodel many many things sleepless nights another time a sleepless week but i started modeling many many things props here for the uh, for the um, Christmas Circus, three in Christmas Circus, but also some new figurines, the two statues. I, uh, I know you suggested me to go with a small statues, but the statues that I will place along the two new stairs will be disturbing for someone, but will be also pure essence of the steampunk movement, the steampunk definition <laughs> I, I'm a little embarrassed right now because I didn't want to see to go there limiting myself to some elements like uh, architectural elements it can be done so I will need to double my speed tri triple my speed going everywhere like a mad scientist me too but I will add and then I also completed some other things that I will show you in the next minutes for you, for me in the next hours. Trying to get there, adding some more buildings, adding some more um, uh, styrofoam on the, uh, under the uh, windmill there and trying to do many, many things. I'm starting to be confused due to my totally uh, embarrassed right now uh, I don't think I'm blushing but I may also have blushed a little bit so uh, let's go to the steam park so many things to show you in the next minutes uh, I model many many things let me start by the ugliest one you know that I have an arbor you know that I have a wolf arbor a pier call it whatever you want but for the first time, I wanted something mechanical to be present there. So, I modeled something very ugly. It is a crane. Welcome here, this little giant uh, crane there. It is, I'm going to rotate all around. It has a mobile base there. My only problem is that I wanted to use a real chain there. Not had time to model and print uh, another type of chain, uh, so it is a little unbalanced and it tends to get like that to fall down from the front because the chain is pure metal painted with some uh, iridescent silver, then with a hook design, steampunk, yes, because I had also a little tank there. Uh, it's not that, uh, that new because it's dirty. Uh, if you want to cement some dirt, you simply need to, to do the black wash before and after. 
So this is supposed to be dirty because it is supposed to work every day, steam, uh, rain, outside. And this will be on the, on the, near the harbor, on top of the harbor. Uh, this is small, yes, but this is complex. I wanted something that would be able to let you see through the buildings that will be forcibly in this uh, zone here. So the hook is uh, mobile, but the chain is glued to the, the main structure there. Some Gothic elements also there, because mixed between 1600, 1700, and then also steampunk uh, rounded, like everything must be in that period. Yes, this is probably most probably going towards the 1950s, 1960 with everything rounded like that. But this is how I wanted to add some type of mechanical on the harbor there. I don't have figurines for this, and I must cons uh, I must uh, be considered to some other figurines, and I will not have time to design proper figurines for that. But figurines without props, it's like props without figurines. They have no purpose to exist, at least for me. Uh, this is painted uh, roughly on the base, yes, but uh, everything is printed uh, using the filament printer, but this is way over the dimension of a single printer. It would have meant using many supports there, so I cut this in half. Uh, also the elements and printed without supports, everything is uh, 20 hours of total printing for everything except the chain obviously and this is working, I will fix with some uh, double sided tape the base and then this will remain there and I will move it around, around, around then uh, just uh, prime for the a main structure and uh, then yellow to coat two layers to coat of yellow then here it is black and the uh, iridescent and silver mixed together to simulate pure and simple uh, metal metal uh, rods metal everything metal okay and the chain originally was gold because it was a brass chain and I painted it uh, in this way the rings stick together much more, they, it does make a disturbing sound, but it, it can also allow some movement to the hook. Uh, so, this is the ugliest thing I've ever did, because it is supposed to be ugly, not elegant, this is support, supposed to be functional and not elegant. So, first thing I modeled was this, and I will show you what I will be Doing. Then, let me do this, the, like that, okay, check the camera. The mysterious building, no more mysterious, the scriptorium needs some fences all around it. I've shown you some example, but painted, this is the final painting, and I will approach it to the camera and then you will see also see it during the final recap so this is copper and I try to paint it in order to have yes some grass here and some also some brown and some moss because this is supposed to be uh, with humidity with plenty of humidity the fences are copper painted in copper and I wanted the, the the bricks, the little walls, to be as ancient, as ruined as possible. So after the prime, I painted them grey, then some uh, red and green like that. And those are the result of such painting. And uh, not that bad, but I don't know. Uh, you to, up to you to judge this and the fences. This is the straight one. Then I have the curved one like that, okay, this is the curved one, and then I needed 
I realized that it's simply the long curved, the long straight, and then the gate, because I also have a gate, guys. This is the gate with moving, uh, uh, with moving uh, little uh, um, copper uh, doors. Okay, um, I needed also something shorter to complete the perimeter around the scriptorium and with such the dimension I have and just with these long pieces there, I couldn't achieve it. So I had to cut some of, of the design getting towards this strange design here. It's like having this part here and not exactly the half, but a little less than the half of the rest like this was the this was supposed to be the half here in plain middle but this is going just with one ripple two ripple three ripple and a little one ripple two ripple three ripple and a little of this one so a little less than the half of this okay and this will help me getting all around the scriptorium this will be placed like that or maybe like that, within the middle, a little fence like that. So, the wall will be structured like this all around with all the fences and then the corners uh, will go like that, uh, having the, the corners made with this little one. But this is what all are different because I painted it differently with some more green, with some more uh, red and the bricks. I think those bricks are good enough to be judged uh, old, ancient as a scriptorium, as a middle age scriptorium would have been. Okay? Uh, and so on. I have all, all of them, all of different, some straight, uh, but just one gate, then some straight, then some curved ones. And I will be using this uh, in a few minutes all around the all around the the scriptorium. Uh, maybe uh, they didn't use uh, copper during that times, but this is a steampunk. As I just said some minutes ago, this topic distortion of reality so I may uh, they may have used it for some reason uh, some more uh, much more uh, copper from a moment from a certain moment on and I will be doing this one of the figurines is still missing uh, around the uh, three ring circles is this little guy here the strongman guys okay uh, I can't uh, go with a proper scene all around because this is supposed to be a strong man enough. But uh, why not adding some little props to? Why not adding some? Uh, maybe I will go this one because they are black with some weights, and so I made some ancient style of weights. Some uh, I think. Uh, a scattlebell, yes, those are bell weights with 150 and 80. 150 what I don't know, 80 what I don't know, you are not supposed, but this is just for impressing the audience. So, from both sides, 80 and 150, uh, printed with the filament printer and then painted with black and uh, iridescent silver. and. I will place it like that with some of the weights impressing the audience like that or maybe like that. I don't know yet, but this will be the simple scene with the strongman like that. Maybe I will uh, incline a little bit, okay? And I will show you. Though this was, or I have already shown you in the, some some months ago, but it was still missing on around the, the strongman, Ursus, the strongman. 
or the mighty Ursus. I don't know, but this is the strongman I will add. Next the figurine, guys. The little juggler woman there. Um, not precisely a pure juggler, but I model this having in mind uh, a joker and a juggler in the same time with some uh, turning, uh, juggling with some uh, balls right there. I didn't know how to add some props or what to add as props for a juggler because uh, it works only with what it has, she has, he has on his hands, her hands on hands, okay? But a juggler doesn't juggle, <laughs> doesn't do uh, only balls, it also does some pins, juggling pins. So I thought, yes, a little prop even for, uh, for the juggler. So I quickly modeled a, a rack, a table rack for some juggling uh, pins like that. A couple of blue, a couple of red, and the middle one is the gold one. And I modeled this quickly, maybe going towards the green, okay. Painted with some black and if it's a silver as this is supposed to be a metallic uh, table rack. And the pins with no metallic uh, colors except the gold, obviously. A uh, little strange because during the curing it bended a little towards the inside, so the legs are a little bended towards each other, but it still stands up. And I also modeled a little crack because this is supposed to be uh, older but used every day. So this will be. The only prop I will be adding to the uh, to the juggler to the juggler woman like that, maybe like that, okay, incline it or maybe like that. I don't know yet. In front, in front of her, back, back. maybe not in front because it will distract her. Maybe a little in back and. Uh, this will not have a real zone around it, but this is also what I modeled during the past week, a little table, a little rack table for the pins. Good, who I have here? The bird woman, she's singing opera right now, like that. Sorry, no, I'm not a singer. But uh, bird woman like that, very histrionic, getting the attention of the audience, but she is absolutely singing. Yes, so what prop can I add to a singing uh, bird woman? I still no name for, for her. I don't remember if I had name or name it for her. Why not a table with a gramophone on top of it, allowing her to sing without an orchestra, but this is pure um, Victorian era music. And what is this? This is nothing more than some uh, a circle with uh, a, a cylinder, long cylinder as a table, then a tablecloth. Uh, blue tablecloth and on top of it the gramophone, classic uh, standard gramophone with a, a disc. Okay, a disc on top of it, <laughs> very ancient technology and uh, this is absolutely a normal standard design for a gramophone for that period of time. It's not that the base, not a mistake here, I did a, a too little uh, base there, the final ring there is too little, so everything is in the middle obviously, but everything else is so heavy. I wanted to place the gramophone here on the border, but in this case the, it would have caused it to fall down. So this can stand without double-sided tape, even if the gramophone is towards the center, but I will probably need to add some double-sided tape 
and there. Okay, like that, and the Virgin Woman singing some opera. I already showed you the magician stage last week. By the way, thanks to uh, Robin Wright, it has a name JR3. Okay, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, a couple of things, things was uh, were missing. Some rabbits, guys, and here I model a couple of different rabbits, one standing and one half standing, completely white as ma magician rabbits should be, with red eyes. Impossible to see from the distance, but they are, they have red eyes. Oops. Okay, they have red uh, red eyes, and this one is standing, and this other one is standing some more. A couple of rabbits that I will need to decide where to uh, place them. And then, to complete the magician stage, some doves. <laughs> Obviously, also suggested me by by you guys and uh, this was very difficult because how to add doves that are so small I decided to go like that a couple of doves roughly modeled one with open wings uh, trying to fly away the other standing on a little table uh, completely red table. This is supposed to be a magician, so I wanted something particular. A table that, if I place it like that, and I didn't, I don't show you that it has three little legs there, could be as the cloth there, the table cloth, is standing by uh, itself, like that. It's standing by itself, as uh, with no table, under, under the head, under the tablecloth, like a magician should have. So a tablecloth like that with a couple of doves on top of it. Uh, can't paint eyes on such small scale, but just just why, n n nothing else, not, not the fine, but from the distance, this is very small, guys. Look at the rabbit and the dove compared together. Okay, the rabbit is way bigger compared to a, a, a dove there, a little dove. And this is also uh, done. Okay, it's another thing, model. You may understand why I had another sleepless uh, wake. Okay, so now the stairs. I ended the uh, part 17, last part. Telling you that my idea was to complete this, that is too naked, but add some space for something else. To add maybe uh, an ancient statues, one, a couple of the most famous ancient statues there, uh, with some, maybe a little fountain, maybe a little something else on the corner there, because this is some wasted space and it is possible to use it. Uh, then you suggested the yes, more statues, little gardens, and something else. I will do the statue, but no, no more ancient statue, as I told you, some steampunk statue, but I am not there yet. Here, uh, you have some more space. Um, if I go with some Victorian frame like that, okay, this is a Victorian frame, and I use it like that, yes, wasted, but in the middle, yes, also true, Victoria, yes, frame, yes, but it's too, too classical to go there. I instead want to go up there, like that, with a frame, like that. 
uh, for two reasons. Here I will have some park bench, here the statue, and in the corner something else. And it's always, please forgive me for my dirty hands, but I'm working <laughs> on my project. So, the frame, yes, there. Park bench, statue, and then something in the corner. Maybe a little Christmas tree, I don't know yet. I'm certain of this, this, and this. Uh, also, this was another of your suggestions, and I always appreciate, and if you are, they are good, and they are always good, I will go on there. But the initial idea I was suggesting was maybe a frame with some uh, uh, posters inside for uh, 20,000 leagues under the sea for Frankenstein, yes, true, and so th this was suggested by Robin Wright, it's so helping, thank you once again Robin, but my, m I had a problem with that, that even books in that time, in that, uh, during Victorian times, weren't that graphics, they had covers, book covers, just have the name of the how the, the writer, the author, then the title, and nothing else, no graphics on the on the front page, on the cover, nor in the in the center. Maybe some books, some rare books add some black and white illustration inside. Uh, uh, graphics weren't that developed at that time, colors, especially colors, etc. But uh, I wanted the frame, yes, with, with something else in. Uh, so I thought for some, um, some hours, what can I place inside this frame? What was uh, graphic at that time, especially during the late 80s, 100th century? Commercial, guys. And they also were colorful commer commercials. Let me remove this. Here I have printed a couple of commercials okay maybe i can show you closely this is a chocolate a chocolate commercial okay this is a butter words chocolate delights and perfection toffee with a family and uh, with uh, with some uh, some uh, chocolates and then oops and then also another commercial right here. I don't know if I can get it on focus like that. Poulton and Noel LTD London. And this is about a company producing some sausage, no, some uh, um, sauce and some food. But the, 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 the strange thing is that the car there is a pure made by uh, by tins by by tin cans uh, sorry i was searching for the for my word by tin cans and other cans there with uh, every kind of uh, food very strange because this was the first uh, version of a, a car an automobile okay I will show you maybe a giant version on the screen of those two commercials. Maybe, maybe right now on post producing, let's go with the chocolate and then uh, with the Poulton and Noah food company right now. Because stretching the images to this dimension here is so difficult, guys. You lose, uh, you lose definition even if th those images were not high definition but very big uh, images. Then I will go and uh, I printed them to get precisely inside the frame like that. Okay, and I will go there, up there, uh, gluing them like there together. Okay, so let me get the perimeter where I need to cut because I will also need to cut this. I will mark the corners. Mm. 
those are the four corners that I will need to cut at least this large. Okay, now then, I thought this will go there, obviously with some space, this one too will go there or there, like that, but, and now I will add many 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 of you hating me for what I'm about to show you oops still add I was saying many of you will hate me. Guys, here and there I will place two statues, not small statues, real eight statues compared to the figurines. And the first one will be this one guys this is cube heart guys this is queen of arts from alice in wonderland a marble pedestal there modeled like this pe pe um, marble pedestals and i used uh, some tissue to paint the marbles veins, the middle marble stains there. Q and art are gold, then the plate there is black and there is decent silver. Let me approach the camera guys.
This is Queen of Art. And all my new figurines will be statues, steampunk, real steampunk statues, all bronze painted with some addition of gold and some colors. In this case, it is the red and iridescent silver used for the heart. Uh, and cogs here, gears here on the shoulders there, then on the setter there, and then also uh, around is uh, around his head, on the side of his head, and a mechanical hand there. All the elements that are almost a steampunk here are the cogs, the gears, and I modeled them and painted them uh, gold. I don't know if you can appreciate the, the face, but it is very sad, very angry, very mad face. Not too violent, I know, guys. Not too brutal, but it's starting from where? From here. And uh, the, the cross on her crown is not horizontal, but it's turned like that, instead of being like that, because Alice in Wonderland was a strange word, guys. So these will be put it. Now she doesn't stand because... Uh, uh, it's too heavy, but it will go like that, and then something, a little tree maybe there. This is the first one going there, guys. And then, on the right, on the left, sorry, I thought to myself, what if I use this and this? I already hearing your voices screaming at me, come on, guy. Yes, I know. But I needed to start a brutality from some point. Why not starting from her, guys? If the other one was Queen of Art, this one is nothing else than A L I C E. Alice. And I thought. In the book, Alice was a little kid. In uh, yes, you also have another book, uh, Alice Madness, but that she has knife in her hands. L let's forget that it is obviously uh, also a game. I thought, what if Alice, in this reality, in this steampunk reality, was no more a kid, but an adult? What will she be uh, a little shy girl? No. So I had uh, her. It's classical. Um, it, it, she is clothed as a classical in the classic uh, book, in the classic Disney movie. But she is taller. She is older. She has a top hat with some goggles. And then she has a couple of steampunk guns on her end and from the back a steampunk uh, a steam powered um, mechanism that will help shooting uh, some bullets this i know i told you this was brutal this is starting to be brutal where steampunk where everyone was armored knives Weapon, uh, firearms, uh, spears, uh, strange things. This is the second. So I thought this will be the team for those two, for those two stairs. Alice and obviously Queen of Arts from the opposite side. The enemies and these two stairs will be visible from the distance getting up the main stair in right and left of the fountain I know you are hating me right now some of you may hate me right now but the steampunk was there brutal violent 
armies, um, arms everywhere. And plus, this is another homage to another writer, guys, Alice in Wonderland. Another book, not a, a real feature, but uh, I thought all the statues I will add from now on, all the violent, all the brutal statues will be inspired by some Victorian time. Not true, because one is, uh, is set in Victorian times. <laughs> right now, it is printing right now. Uh, it's set in Victorian time, late, very late Victorian time, but it's not from a writer from that period. But this is the only distance I took from other, from the other statues and figures. So, and this is pure Alice in Wonderland font, as in the book, as in the movie, as in the front page of the book and the movie. The plate here was too short to get a queen of art, so I used the Q and the art. Uh, don't shoot at me, please. Good, here you have a 12.5 cm by 15 cm piece of a styrofoam. I will try to add some work for something like that. Some little hard work. Okay. And I also have those piece of wood there that are 4.5 centimeters by the diameter one centimeter in diameter. Let me go like that.
good. This is the final look that we have this little um, access to the docks there from 12 centimeters down and then down here. Okay, I still need to paint this. Let's do the painting with some black wash and then some brown, simply black wash and brown. Okay. Okay, guys, it's done. Uh, I still needed to add some uh, fences here and there, but this is the 2022 wharf system, dock system, uh, larger than last season. I will add some, some figurines in here. I will show you once it will be placed on the, uh, on the layout. Uh, let's go with something else. Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were here? Typical me, my 
never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone, cause when you're gone, I miss your face. Late o'clock, body talk, there's no need to bring it up. Nothing you say makes it better. Wanna give you up? I know we've been through way too much, but I'm confident we'll make it through. I'm here for you, you're not by yourself. Late o'clock, body talk. There's no need to bring it up. Nothing you say makes it better. Ran away from heartbreak Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty So alone and afraid Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense. So I
what it took to make it new like a blossom of a tree or the color of a jewel so divine is the feeling that i find like a sweet mountain breeze and a fragment of my mind i said darling you are all i want for sure darling you give me everything and more i said darling Slide talking, girl, you're walking circles through my mind And it seems like every day just gets better when you're mine When you love now and forever, for my hurt you are the cure Like a spring you keep me healthy with a substance that is pure And I said, darling, darling feeling rich although I'm poor I said, darling your arms I feel secure darling, darling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah girl you know I miss you baby you know I miss you Baby, when it settles in, that you're 
dream with me let your mind explore all the things we were created for possibilities and open door that keeps us reaching out the pain will color me blue then tickle me pink who knew that at the brink of the end life could begin trauma but try search inside <laughs> final recap of part 18 and guess where i'm starting from the three ring circus guys right now all the figurines i add all the figurines i model at the 3d printed and painted are on the layout nothing more is hided somewhere nothing more is in, in some strange closet Okay, exception for what is still missing inside the two boots, the orange one and the blue one, the stands, that I still need to decide what to put inside. Even Freddy, the ring master, is now there, in plain middle of the action, not inside the dome where the audience is already attracted, but outside, where he needs to attract all the audience possible to put under the dome for next show. It was a little difficult trying to manage the space and uh, having the all those tall figurines there, the acrobat woman there, the spitfire there, and so many more are so tall that if placed in front here, we prevented would have prevented you from seeing what these behind them. So here I played a game of uh, having uh, displacing that the, when the camera moves, this one will not hide the juggler, then the, uh, the, um, the, um, the clown, sorry guys, it's 2 a.m. and I'm so, so sorry. Then the puppeteer and everything else is not hided by the camera when the camera is moving around so everything is now there even the two rabbits and the doves on the stage 
That's what for me is a circus. The outside, training, etc. I, I still miss some villagers. They, I will add them <laughs> lately. Okay, and then all the villagers inside the dome with uh, the uh, the show got getting on the main focus event. And also Dumbo there. <laughs> I I know that I uh, told you that I would have placed some. Uh, something related to the Madame Zaza, the fortune teller, but <laughs> by pure chance, that table suits the dimension of Dumbo, the flying elephant, okay? And so oh, maybe a little like that, okay? And Ursus, the strong man, is visible, the two boots, the two stands will be visible from the outside, the birded woman, everyone is visible, every single attraction, even the most evil man in all the world, the circus owner, there, checking on the ringmaster, hey, come on, it's late, uh, take some more people to fill in the dome, he's asking him to do the impossible thing and feel once again uh, the doom ticket boot there so everything is now there i also added some fences my canal fences there that will um will not prevent anything to be seen even through the fences like that when the camera will slide <laughs> because i still need to film my final video at some point in the next four or five months and that's what I wanted right now for the circuit. Here I have some unused space, but it is out of range from every point of view. So I will probably place some uh, some trees, some big tall trees and even a background there. I still don't know. Let's go towards the, towards the scriptorium where I added some monks. Those two were printed uh, during the past months. Uh, the prior there, uh, the singing guys, uh, uh, is a, uh, the tri singing trio there is a classical from classic from Lemax, but one, two, three were printed during uh, the winter or the spring. I don't remember. That one is really, really, really dangerous. That one. Maybe I can show you closely. Okay. So I was saying, this one is a little frightening, it's very dangerous, almost like uh, Shaolin monks ready to kick you in the face. Then obviously the, the drinker there, the I don't know if it's uh, a tradition, but... And I still have uh, three or four many more monks to add there, but I, I still need to, to paint them because they, they are a little darker they are not as dark as what I've introduced to you, like Queen of Arts and Alice, but they are also dark because I modeled them um, uh, having in mind one of the biggest hits of all the time from one Italian novelist, Umberto Eco, and the book was also a, a, a hit movie, The Name of the Rose, guys. It's well suited for there. Those monks are well suited for there. A little dark. I will add them because I will have some more space there. Uh, maybe I will show you what I also modeled and primed this week. Let me just take it. A strange, it will be a strange uh, steampunk thing between uh, wood, uh, it will be some sort of wood mixed with uh, some copper, this is pure steampunk also. I will place it once painted right there in the middle, that will be visible because it's a little outside the view of the head there, of the Morlock Sphinx head, and then some more monks in here, there, uh, three or four, two, maybe three, let's, let's say three, 
maybe more if I have time. And that's the, also the, the fences I modeled and painted. And I think it's an almost good uh, look with all those bricks there, ruined all the bricks with some moss, uh, with some... Okay, guys, that's what I wanted for, com for completing the, um, the scriptorium sector there. I will need, obviously, some uh, access there, some stairs or something strange. I still don't have in mind what. And here I will need to fix there with some double-sided tape. And that was the uh, the big main thing. Uh, okay, let's go there in the harbor section, guys, where now the docks are there. Okay, the docks. So here it is, larger than last season, a new version, a new design with uh, workers, with doctors getting access to the top level getting there then up up here and here then and then the monstrous uh, gigantic crane there uh, that is the only spot available not preventing you from looking at the black why the blacksmith there because they were ancestor of uh, mechanicians of uh, um, uh, yes of um, motor engine mechanics okay uh, all was repaired by blacksmith at that time, even locomotives were repaired by blacksmith. The figure of a uh, mechanic didn't exist at that time because mechanics were so young, especially during the uh, steampunk version, no mechanics at all, at least for now. And I will add some fences maybe on top here, maybe these little part there i don't know because this is still uh, only three centimeters uh, width uh, and adding fences uh, uh, will um, will be meaning uh, reducing the walking space all around uh, then okay by pure chances i also add those little couple of stairs there that are from 20 20 20 I, no, 2020 village, I, I kept uh, some of them because they are little, so no space at all. Then I added uh, 60 by 40 centimeter, no, 60 by 50 centimeters on top of that. I was worried not uh, being able to uh, get all the cords around that sector there because I, I had no space due to the fact that I just have nine millimeters there. Uh, of thickness uh, because this is the gallery of the train but now with those four more centimeters uh, i can even place that monstrous thing there not monstrous that wonderful piece there with the carolers but it is so thick that will almost need i will almost need to dig up to the bottom those four centimeters to accommodate it you know that i hate having those table accents because this is a table accent on top of the styrofoam. They absolutely need to be at the same level of the floor, so I will need to dig. Then, there guys, I added the, the hidden cove uh, building there. Uh, I decided to dig some more and have the lake, and, and have the lake getting up towards the building. I, I wanted that building. It is an ancient old Lemax building, it I uh, acquired it l last season, and it is so beautiful that I will make a lake there. Then you have already seen one of them. This is the result, guys. This is Alice, and from the other side, that is Queen of Art. Let me have the camera placed a little more decently like that okay so uh, maybe in front let's try to get in front view like that so the park bench is there the commercial and uh, in the victorian frame in the gold victorian frame is there 
queen of art is there and look what i also found in the figurine boxes a little christmas tree that it is suited no no a little fountain nothing a little christmas tree there and that's the uh the queen the queen of arts uh, right side and from the other side with the old with the uh, advertisement and here it is Alice guys maybe I will go on that way the commercial are not that bad and that is Alice um, those figurines when uh, those figurines are obviously intended to be painted with vivi colors as, as everything else I, I do uh, just the uh, just the um, the dress the Alice dress plain blue with some yellow bows yes obviously but I decided to go with bronze those are pure bronze statue. Not that frightening, not that brutal, not that violent. Alice with those two guns. But this is the starting pro point for the next week. Well, I uh, will add so many more of those statues. Uh, even some, a couple of them may be very very brutal guys but anyway that's a turn that's the final turn of this uh, 2022 um, season i don't know guys uh, i will wait for your comments maybe i'm i'm too i'm too crazy maybe i'm too dark maybe i'm i, I don't know what i am right now then some more buildings the claire confectionery there and also the French back guys <laughs> beside uh, Jules Verne feature only the French back we can go there okay or maybe I had also the the bistro there the French bistro but no not a, a restaurant near this feature maybe a French patisserie uh, French bakery with patisserie there even if I had also there a patisserie a confectionery is nothing less than a patisserie uh, and here, Mary's French Bakery near the frightening uh, octopus from giant octopus, giant squid. Sorry, this is not uh, an octopus because the head like that is a squid. Octopus have a rounded uh, head. This is triangular uh, on a tri triangle, so this is a squid. Then I decided to cut finally uh, half a more centimeter there to get some more space here to get an half, half more centimeter there. And then I see that with the molding power and some water, the, mm, the little groove I add. Uh, yes, everything is now there what I did. Uh, oh yes, the mountain, um, the mountain view lodge also there. I don't know, uh, I still need to find some more space because I have uh, uh, a couple of more um, table accent that needs uh, di uh, digging. So here dig, there dig, here dig. And a couple more of digging I will need and the space to, be, to dig is not that much. Uh, they are still empty there i will add more some more buildings up there uh, what i'm uh, I for, i'm forgetting nothing guys everything is there uh, yes a bridge i will need uh, i will need urgently to build a bridge there because otherwise the train station is isolated no ac no access from anywhere to the station 
but I will need and here also some other buildings or something something different uh, I still have a plenty of uh, table accent and little attraction that need to be placed then here I will need to model and 3d print uh, around the fence because this need around the fence there and that will be for next time the Morlock Sphinx is still there uh, I added uh, so uh, not half of the buildings but it starts to be uh, looking different now this is complete I still need last thing to do is to dig some um, some grooves to have uh, the wires but I can't get through here because here I have the railroad down there. I will go right in the corner there. I will need to add a couple of um, street lamps in the corners. Maybe one here, one here, and the one there, maybe one there. But if I place it there, where will I uh, get the space for a groove for the wires? I don't know. Um, oh, yes, the lake. I will also need to dig for the lake and try to find a solution. I will not use some silicon. I will use something different this time. And well, ah, yes, a new technique. I use it. Generally, I used to glue the the wall there, but instead this time I used some pins the same pins i used to make the uh, sorry uh, to make the the balusters there i used them to pin uh, there now uh, the, the extra four centimeters of wall and this need obviously because there i have the weight of the buildings in the corner so i need to balance the weight there uh, otherwise i will have a problem uh, that's all guys for this part 18 Normally I will end this in three parts. I don't think I will be able to <laughs> to end this with the part of 21. So see you next week with some uh, th something more and so many more frightening statues. It will not be that easy to find a solution to get access to the scriptorium, a new type of stair. I don't know yet, I will try to figure it out in the next couple of days. Finally, Freddy the Ringmaster is there dominating the scene. And guys, I love this little one. I named it Freddy because I tried to model him following a very famous Freddy Mercury pose. Uh, it was the most histrionic guy I ever that, that ever existed in uh, modern times and this is Freddy uh, imagine this is is a mic and this is da -da 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 -da. No, sorry I'm not a singer I can't sing about the old hey or uh, Radio Gaga Radio Goo Goo singing right that so it was so histrionic that my ring must need to be modeled uh, upon him so Freddy is now there and all the audience will get through the gate and this will take and this will be finished. Um, I made a little step toward the end of this 2022 layout of this 2022 Christmas village. I, yes guys, I know, I also modeled something very, uh, very hideous like the crane there but i needed a, a crane a crane I don't need to be good looking it's a crane guys <laughs> and so many things still to do but but i'm i'm more optimistic not to be able to to complete it in time for christmas but uh, let's say i will try to do it certainly not in with part 21 uh, I will wait for your comments if you want to comment what you think about the new, the new, the new status, guys. This is very frightening, and those two are not the most frightening one I intended to model. 
but let's say I will I will model so many uh, figurines inspired by steampunk, obviously, but Victorian era, especially London Victoria era. Uh, but one that has just finished printing the body uh, is so so interesting and not that punk, not that frightening, but I added some uh, punk elements to it. And it's a she. Uh, what else? Uh, nothing, guys. It's 2.15 a.m. Sorry, it's uh, very late. Uh, generally, I end this by midnight, 11, 30 midnight. But uh, I had uh, so many hours of painting this week. So, thank you. Please, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and see you next time, but on if.